Magandang araw sa ating lahat at welcome po muli ang bawat isa sa aming Squad Weekly Interactive Meeting. Again, ito po ay pag-aaral ng Salita ng Diyos under the Philippine National Police Internal Cleansing Strategy kung saan ginagamit po namin yung uh, Interfaith Squad System Manual na organization para lalong maabot ng bawat isa, lalo ng ating law enforcers, ang tunay na pagbabago. Which we believe na magsisimula mula sa ating mga puso at sa tulong ng ating dakilang Diyos at tagapagligtas na si Jesus. Kasama ko po ang aming squad to welcome everyone to study our lesson 2.18 entitled Perseverance. And uh, with me are Police Corporal Mark Anthony Painor, Police Staff Sergeant Ryan Garcia, Police Staff Sergeant Adeo Burgess, Police Staff Sergeant Archie Baldumar, kasama rin po ang aming Police Senior Master Sergeant Joseph Pacino, at ang aming squad leader si Police Executive Master Sergeant Ma'am Lucy Balikod. At saan po kayo nas naran panig ng mundo, we are happy to have you. At tulungan tayo ng Diyos na magkaroon talaga ng virtue called perseverance. At walang uh, makatutulong sa atin kundi ang ating dakil ng Diyos. Siyang ating lapitan muna sa isang panalangin. Mapagpalang Ama, kayo po ang magbigay sa amin ng katugunan to apply perseverance sa aming buhay. And this is very vital sa lahat ng aming hangarin sa buhay. And this will help us pursue our goal and uh, triumph sa lahat ng mga pagsubok. Basmasa niyo po ang bawat sa amin, ang aming mga kaibigan, kapatid, lalo na pong Squad 244, and I pray for their families. Again niyo po, buksan mo ang aming puso at kaisipan upang yung salita ay magkaroon ng layang, malayang daloy patungo sa mga puso. Eventually, may apply namin ang bagay nito sa aming buhay. Malawalapi po kayo. Gabayan po ninyo ang inyong lingkod. In Jesus' name, Amen. Ayon po kay Victor Hugo, Perseverance is the secret of all triumphs. Sa Tagalog, ito po ay katigaan na talagang susi o sekreto ng lahat ng tagumpay. Pag ang tao ay napakahina ng pagtitsaga, walang pagpapatuloy, wala ko siyang maaabot, wala siyang mararating. Perseverance is a continued effort to do something or to achieve something in spite of difficulties, in spite of failures, in spite of opposition, and it's also called being steadfast. Yung bang hindi ka matinag, Focus ka sa iyong nais mangyari. Iba nga, yung napakasama na ng hangarin sa buhay, talagang kuntodong ka ng pagpaplanong wasakin ang buhay ng kapwa nila. Kung paano sana kasidhi ang pagnanais ng maraming uh, tao involved sa terrorism or, or wickedness or uh, destabilization, sana ganun din ang hangarin nating maigting na pagpapatuloy na proteksyonan ng ating bayan, ng ating pamilya ipaglaban ang sinasabi ng salita ng Diyos. Perseverance is the thing which we call sticking to the plan. It's, it's the part of the established and generally accepted moral values na dapat natin in-observe na sinasabi nga sa ating ethical uh, doctrine, once a decision is made, Philippine National Police members shall take legitimate means to achieve the goal even in the face of internal or external difficulties and despite anything which might weaken the resolve in the course of time. Sa experience ninyo mga kaibigan sa ating squad or sa mga PNP personnel, you, I believe, can share stories about the time when you encounter difficult circumstances in carrying out an instruction or in accomplishing a task. Ang tanong ay, ano ginawa natin? That time, that very moment, ano ang sumagi sa ating isipan in accomplishing that task? 
Well, the Bible says, Philippians 3.14, I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And most of you, I believe, you did it anyway. Sa ngalan na katarungan sa promotion of the Constitution at sa ngalan ng batas. Again, the thing that would drive you to do right thing to accomplish any task is perseverance. Meron nga ang babala, ang Diablo, ang, ang, ang Diyos, nagagawin ng Diablo, rather, sa Revelation 2.10, huwag mong katakutan ang mga bagay na iyong malapit ng tiisin. Always be prepared for the things na untoward, ika nga. But uh, let's always expect something na maaring maganap sa inyo na which would cause fear pero kung sisi, uh, sisikapin natin manatili ang perseverance, at sabi ng talata, narito malapit ng ilagay ng Diablo ang ilan sa inyo sa bilangguan. There is always a threat for, for us and for you enforcers. Lalo na sa inyong buhay upang kayo masubok at magkaroon kayo ng kapigatiang Sabi nga ng Bible sa pong araw, it refers to many days and many, many uh, moments or times kung saan kayo ay mahahamon na tumigil at uh, wala ang focus. And yet, the Lord Jesus Christ is challenging us na huwag kayo matakot. Huwag kayong lulubay. Although magkaroon kayo ng kapigatian, ang sabi ng talata, Revelation 2.10, magtapat ka hanggang sa kamatayan. Yun po ang sinumpaan natin tungkulin. At bibigyan ka ng Diyos ng putong ng buhay. Lahat po ng gagawin natin in doing your task in the name of the law at sa ngalan ni Yeso Cristo will always be rewarded. So don't be afraid ng anumang bagay although it would cause you to suffer as long as you do what is right and do the, accomp the assigned task. Sabi ng hamon sa atin, remain faithful until death and God will give you a crown of life. Mga kasama, perseverance is a key quality in law enforcement resilience. And it's also a very helpful quality. Bilang mga polis sa inyong fitness training. And speaking of resilience, it, it, it's defined as the ability to bounce back from adversity. Being resilient is the Uh, uh, ability of being elastic and having the cap capability to endure hardness. Resilience or flexibility is what we and what you in law enforcement you have to strive for in order to survive your careers with a sound mind, uh, body, and spirit. Re resilience is what we need to be able to gather together to be able to function and uh, to enjoy many more happy and productive years lalo na pag uh, nasa retirement na ang inyong uh, trabaho. But ang tanong siguro, how do we persevere? Una, of course, fix our eyes on the goal. Be determined to achieve yung mission na ipinagkatiwala sa atin. Ayon sa James chapter 1, verse 12, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, that refers to trials. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Mga trials, mga pagsubok, challenges, you will face. Sa training pa lang ninyo, nakaranas na kayo ng maraming ganyan, and you gra graduated with, with flying colors. Lalong hindi tayo gigive up dapat sa paati pa lang yan. Not only fix your eyes and your goals, second, be determined to do the right thing. Even in the face of difficulty, bilang mga law enforcers, we, you, follow standard operating procedure or SOP. We follow due process. Although some people would, uh, would not break the law, some would even bend the law, but stick to the due process. We must stay within the bounds of the law. Huwag tayong matukso o ma, ma, mapunta roon to take a cut or take shortcuts just to hasten the process. God forbid. Against James chapter 1 verse 2 hanggang 4, mga kapatid ko, ariin ninyong buong kagalakan kung kayo'y mahulog sa sarisaring pagsubok. 
there will there will be times of testings and trials and challenges na pwedeng masubukan talaga ang inyong pasensya. Pero sa biyaya ng Diyos, magpatuloy lamang po tayo. Sabi ng talata, yamang nalalaman ang pagsubok sa inyong pananampalataya ay eh gumagawa ng pagtitiis. You want to be patient? Welcome all the trials. At ang inyong pabayaan at inyong pabayaan na ang pagtitiis ay eh magkaroon ng sakdal na gawa upang kayo maging sakdal at ganap na walang anumang kakulangan. Because you are being built up. God is teaching you to be patient and to persevere. Manuana ko sa inyo, you will reap a rich reward. Thirdly, do your best. Alang-alang sa bayan at sa ating Diyos. If we lift our mission sa Panginoong Diyos, every day, paggising pa lang sa umaga, you thank God for another day before embarking on anything you do. Just, Lord, please guide us. Protect us. Ingatan mo pamilya namin, ingatan mo kami. Give us wisdom, give me understanding. God will lead us to do the right thing sa pag-accomplish na ating mission. Again, Colossians 3 verse 23, ang sabi ng talata, anumang inyong ginagawa, inyong gawin ng buong puso, gaya ng sa Panginoon, hindi sa tao. Always think that you are doing your job for the glory of God. And if that is your focus, first and foremost, you will do what is right. I can youth gain rich. Perseverance is the hard work you do after you get tired of doing the hard work you already did. Ibig sabihin lang ho, walang tigil, walang puknat, ang pagsisikap, ang pagtsatsaga. So if at first you don't succeed, again, try and try again. And it alludes to perseverance. Ang hamon sa atin is this. How do we apply that? Uh, many athletes have natural ability. But what is it that turns a mediocre athlete into a gold medalist? or champion. One is one athlete is willing to hurt more than the others. Why some people succeed because they do it another another day. Iba kasi tumigil kagad. They stop too soon. But do it one more day. Baka madali niyo na yung promotion kung sakali. Ibig sabihin baka makita na natin yung inahalad natin sa buhay. So when you when you cannot take another step and you feel your muscles are sore, your body is aching. This is what it means to be running the race with perseverance. Being able to persevere through life's challenges. Nagbibigay sa atin opportunity to strengthen our faith and produce fruit sa ating buhay. Never, never give up. Without perseverance, we would live a shallow, surface-level lives void of authentic relationships and uh, and void of meaningful aspirations. Alam niyo, maraming mabuting bagay sa, bu sa ating buhay would require hard work and consistency. You may be hurting because some members of the family are are ill, some co-workers are doing no good sa atin, they treated us unfairly, or, or, or per perhaps a, a family, a loved one, has, has left you or or a friend just walked away perhaps you were you were passed over for for a promotion nalagpasan tayo you're running to build endurance having perseverance is a character para tayo magtagumpay sa buhay when you persevere matutupad sa atin yung sinasabi ng madre sa ating nadidinig when the going gets tough only the tough gets the going Hebrews 12 2 12 1 and let us run with patience, the race that is set before us. Yung saltang patience dito literal means endurance. Run with endurance. Mabuhay tayo, magtrabaho tayo na may pagtitiis. It means bearing up under some uh, load, some some challenge. So are you looking for an easy way? Are you, uh, are you the type of person looking for a cheap way or a lazy way to do your job? D doing some shortcuts. You want all the honey and no bees. A life of ease. Mga kaibigan, if that's the life you want to tread upon, you will never be promoted the proper way. This business of running this race, this life, this job, means that you're going to go at it with all your heart. Sometimes we 
Of course, we want to be promoted. We want to progress. We want to have a dev development sa ating buhay. Never stop too soon. Don't give up. You may be at the brink of a miracle. Or you may be some, somehow losing your hope. Pero alam niyo, we are to run with endurance. We are to live with endurance. When you watch someone running, uh, alam niyo yung in, in, intensity na kanyang pamumuhay. So, so if, if you're in a race, if you are trying to achieve and, and, and reaching for a goal, you need to pray over it, you need to weep over it, you need to st study over it, and you need to work hard over it. Alam niyo, natutunan ko siguro sa ilang panahon na rin ng ako ay nasa ministry that God does business with those who mean business. God will promote those who deserve to be promoted. And being a police officer, doing your job, is a full-time occupation. Do not settle any longer for being a part-time officer. We in the ministry don't treat this as a part-time job. All of us, you in the enforcement uh, uh, job, we in the evangelization job, we should consider our job as a full-time work given by God. Commit fully to do your job. We should commit fully to do our job honoring the Lord Jesus Christ. In a case study for police promotion, this will I, will I close. Perseverance plays a very important part. Having a combination of personal judgment, past experience, and keen sense of purpose may sound philosophy, uh, but not necessarily reliable if you're aiming to convert aspiration into promotion. But the state of mind is vital. You need to have right support at the right time plus tips and encouragement. Mahalaga po ito in raising awareness sa ating sarili, building confidence. You need to enhance your ability to align to your daily duties with the rank you desire and verbally link evidence with organizational uh, priorities and interests. Nakaayon sa, sa inyong uh, layon sa organization. You, when you close this gap, it would help with confident performance. Hindi po malayong promotion. Have the growth mindset. Stay motivated. Stay determined, enthusiastic. Those are starting position if you are thinking of a promotion. Sabi ni Jim Raw, Do not wish it was easier, but wish you were better. You can do it better today than yesterday. Di man natin nakuha agad ang yung desired position. Di man natin makuha yung ating desired uh, uh, thing for the day. Do it better today. Proverbs 24, 16, the just man falleth seven times and rises up again. Those who won't give up, those who will not stop, will persevere. So ipag-pray natin. Una, ipasalamat tayo si Diyos sa kabutayang araw-araw sa atin, sa biyaya niya sa ating buhay, the blessings we receive every day, and ask His forgiveness, and ask His wisdom and understanding. We will pray for all of you na mayroong prayer request. Let us know. Let us hear from you. And uh, we assure you, we will pray for you. And uh, narito kami to, to ask God to help you, to help everyone to persevere and build up our faith and, and uh, be, be promoted. Lalo na. So, God is our shepherd, si Cristo, ang ating uh, Panginoon, siya ang ating Diyos, siya ang gamagabay sa atin. He will help us. He will provide our need, not our wants. And He will satisfy the desires of your heart. Just delight to do His will. So, tulungan tayo ng Panginoon to persevere. Tulungan tayo ng Diyos na not to stop too soon. Never give up. Let us pray. Aming Ama, that is our desire. Help us to persevere and not to stop too soon. Tulungan mo kami, Panginoong Diyos, to do and follow your will, and to do our job according to the standard ng organization ng PNP. Salamat po sa pribileyong maging kabahagi ng samahang ito. 
as a life coach. I pray that you would guide and protect and bless Philippine National Police from the highest official down to the lowest rank. Especially, I pray for Squad 244. In Jesus' name, Amen. Maraming salamat po and God bless you. Stay safe and give you peace. Until next time.